Hey everybody, happy Homebrew Wednesday, and I have an empty glass. Time to fill it up. So that's my stout, my dry Irish stout, my Guinness attempt, and uh, it's on the stout faucet. Figures perfect time to give it a try. I don't have it on nitrous yet. Right now I have it on just plain old CO2 trying to get some carbonation. But uh, you can see it's a nice dark, dark beer. You got a nice caramel, frothy head. Um, now, I didn't, uh, it, all the recipes that I saw called for um, a, a maltodextrin, I believe. And uh, I didn't have any. And I finally picked some up last week, but a little too late, right? So I have it on hand for the next time. But, uh, Everybody, happy early St. Patrick's Day. Uh, here's to you. Get uh, get the chocolatey, roasty, malty, uh, creamy. Um, the 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 body or mouth feels a little bit lighter than what a, a Guinness would be. A Guinness is a little bit thicker. Um, this has been in the keg for four days now, so, um, you know, it's got, got a little bit, it's a little young, but, uh, anyways, it's a decent beer, um, not quite as good as a Guinness, but in the spirit of the season, it's definitely enjoyable. Not bad for my first all grain stout. Anyways, uh, what's been going on? Keg my stout. Here it is. I got my Rogan beer getting ready to go to secondary. And last week Friday I brewed a Maybach on the electric system. That's my third batch, and uh, very pleased. They, the day went well. Um, I was on Uvu all day. A couple people stopped in to say hi and check out. Uh, Check out my brewing process and chit chat a little bit, so I appreciate that. Thanks, you know it can make for a long brew day, and you end up talking to yourself a lot. But uh, for you guys that did stop out, cheers, thanks. Um, I'll probably um, open up Uvu every time I brew. Um, I got a little setup in the basement. I'm not gonna cast it, um, but uh, I'll go on Uvu. So if any of you guys wanna stop in and say hi or see what's going on, but um, oh, hold on. Okay, so enough of that. Um, working on getting the whole process down. I used my uh, plate chiller, um, and that was awesome. Uh, I pretty much was able freaking pop ups. Um, pretty much was able to chill down um, my uh, what was it? Probably five and a half, six gallons of uh, wort from two ten down to 70-ish degrees and emptied my pond in about 10 minutes. That was freaking awesome. So, um, plate chiller, um, definitely excited about using that more. Um, I then put the uh, put my, my bock in my keyser and chilled it down to 50 degrees. I had a wort or a yeast starter at 50 degrees as well and pitched that and it was probably about 48 hours before I started seeing some action in there. Um, everything seems to be going good. I'll probably, uh, it's been a week almost and I'll probably leave it in there for two more weeks and then check to see where I'm at and if everything's on track I'll transfer it over to secondary and drop, uh, well, I'll follow Oscar127 on brewtubers.com, uh, the forums. He gave me some uh, uh, 
good schedule to follow for loggering, so I will be uh, basically following what, what he suggested doing. So thank you, Oscar. Um, so I have my little draft things back here, right? And I just couldn't find, for the life of me, find the tapper handles that I really wanted. I just wanted kind of ones that just said, you know, Rogan Beer or Maybach, right? Just simple things. I didn't need to, my actual names of my beers or anything. Um, so what I did, <clears throat> I went to the New Belgium website and I found these. And you can buy them without these little panels in there. But I just got them with the panels because the panels were like an extra buck anyway. Um, so you can remove these. So what I did is I removed these and then went on to my computer. I scanned this in so I could have the actual shape. And then I left the, uh, the screw holes in there. And then uh, went into Photoshop and just kind of did my own little thing. So I got... Uh, on my back and then I can play with different colors so I got uh, you know here's my my Rogan beer and then where the New Belgium symbol was I actually went and put my symbol so now it kinda goes and lines up hold on whoops I'm having problems here you know something like that so you can actually see right here I got my Belgian and my brown ale and my, my stout. I got my own personal tappers for my own brews. So that's pretty cool. I, I've i been looking for tapper handles for a while. I was looking at the whiteboard ones and the chalk ones. And um, this is what I decided to do. And um, I got to work on the little, I got little plexiglass covers over the top of them. And um, I got to work on that a little bit yet. But uh Pretty pleased. It, it worked out pretty well, so I'm excited about that. Um, uh, let's see, two little issues that I ran into with the electric system. One is the condensation. I did get. I got a, a range hood, you know, to try to suck all the uh, the moisture out from when uh, all the water I'm boiling off, and uh, it's it's not quite adequate. So I gotta maybe go and think of some other options or ways I can get the uh, the moisture sucked out of my basement um the other thing is is i'm noticing that uh after three uses my um elements basically right uh at the base of the element on the inside of the kettle where you the threads are um they rust up kind of easy you know i try to dry them off and everything afterwards and i clean them up after every brew and um you see some rusting and uh, i don't think that's probably good for the beer and uh so i'll need to do something about that um so i started cruising the uh the forums and um i have some ideas but another another drawback or another setback to having to troubleshoot but uh does everybody have a safe and happy saint patrick's day i took some video footage from start to finish of um, the process that I'm using for my electric setup right now, I'll probably post that in uh, the near future just uh, just to show what, what I'm doing. I know Tony Yates has got uh, some good footage of what he's been up to and stuff, so I um, thought I'd just share with you guys what I'm kind of doing, and um, I got a lot of work to do yet and, and stuff, but um, all good stuff. So everybody, have a great week. Cheers.